Hello and welcome to the book station and welcome to a set of different kind of videos. Um, so I've tried to record this video about four times um, and I realised the reason it's not working is because it, the video keeps being way too long. So what I'm actually going to do is film this in three parts. So this part is, uh, well, I should explain. Um, ever since, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, if you don't, I don't know why you should. It's the underscore book underscore smoke. Um, I've been posting, ever since I've been posting videos of my adult colouring book process and finished pictures on Instagram, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video um, on this channel about colouring books and stuff like that. Adult colouring books. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to record this in three parts. So this part is just the books I own. Um, the next part is my completed pictures and the third part is all about the methods I use to colour the pictures. So what pens, what pencils, um, how I do finer detail and stuff like that. <clears throat> so yeah. So welcome to the first part. So this will be just the books I own and I believe there are eight. Um, I did own a few more but I gave some to my friend um, for his birthday because he really wanted to get into adult colouring and I was like well I have way too many so I can give you a few so I did. Um, so yeah, so the first adult colouring book I ever bought is this, and this is The Little Book of Calm Colouring, um, and this is by David Sindon and Victoria Kay. Um, I bought this before I even heard of Joanna Basford, um, and this is just like a really mini tiny book, and it's gorgeous. I'm not going to show you any completed pictures yet, because that's what the next video is going to be about. But you have, on one side you have the design. On the other side you have a quote or a ver a proverb and this was as hitch your wagon to a star and that's by Ralph Ralph Waldo Emerson and I suppose this is supposed to be like a kind of star so yeah this is really pretty and it's really easy to color because it's so small um, and it was only 2 99 it was originally 5 99 I got it for 2 99 in Waterstones so I thought that was a pretty good deal and then obviously I own all three Joanna Basford colouring books. So I have the latest one, Lost Ocean. I have the second one, Enchanted Forest. And I have the third, well, the first published one, Secret Garden. Um, and these are all like more intricate designs um, for adults. These are adult colouring books. And yeah, they're more intricate designs. And um, in the second video, I'll go through these and show you certain bits and bobs, completed pages and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm building up a pile next to me which you can't see. Um, <clears throat> I also got these two and they're in the same collection. There's vintage patterns and Japanese patterns and these are both creative colouring for grown-ups. Um, and I got both of these in Sainsbury's for £6 each or two for £5. So I bought no, £6 each or two for £8, so obviously I bought two at the same time. And these are just like full full page illustrations, and they are massive, but they're really pretty. Um, yeah, and I'll go into them a bit later in the second video. I also have this one, uh, this is part of the Zen colouring collection and it's animals. And if you can see on the cover, they're like very, very intricate designs. Um, and they really are. These are some of these are even more intricate than the Joanna Basford books. This one, for example, I think is one of the most intricate I've ever seen. It's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll go into that more in my next video. And the last book I'm going to show you today is something a bit different. This is Anamorphia, and this is by Kirby Rosanes. And basically, it's these beautiful pictures of animals. And then it kind of veers off into all this doodling with all these little animals and waves and wings up here and mushrooms and top hats and there's a rabbit and a boat. And yeah, that's basically what each picture is. Like there's a baboon on that page and then on this page it goes into all that intricacy and all the doodles. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. But I'd, I'm scared to start it because it's so, so pretty. But obviously I will at some point. But yeah, this one is one of the best I own. So yeah, there you have it. That's the first part of uh, my colouring book videos. Uh, thank you for watching this. Um, if you have any of these books, 
um, please let me know down below what you think about them or if I've inspired you by showing you them uh, to go and pick them up let me know that as well um, yeah so thank you for watching part one I will of course link part two and part three in the description and I will see you all again for part two goodbye